Guys, can you actually imagine finding out six hours ago that you don't in fact fly on Friday, you fly in the morning at 8 a.m. So at two o'clock this afternoon, my travel agent rang me and was like, Sophie, you don't go on holiday on Friday, you literally go tomorrow. I was like, no, we don't, we go on Friday the 15th. She was like, no, it's the 14th, you go tomorrow. I was like, you are actually joking me. So fast forward six hours, Josh's barber had to come to the house to cut his and Casper's hair. Um, we've moved the taxi to the airport forward 24 hours, which is really lucky they managed to do that. My best friend managed to squeeze my nails in. I've just got home and it's nine. It's half past nine. I've already packed. I packed yesterday because luckily my mum and dad are on holiday tomorrow. Uh, they're on holiday now, but they usually have the kids on a Thursday and I knew that they weren't going to have them and it was obviously I'm having the kids all day so I was like I'm not going to have time to do anything so I've already packed which I kind of feel like everything happens for a reason like my mum and dad going on holiday is actually a blessing in disguise because if they hadn't have gone on holiday I don't think I'd have even packed by now because I'd have just thought I'm just going to do it tomorrow <laughs> but yeah guys I honestly cannot believe it and the worst thing is our in-laws are coming like it's not even like it's just me Josh and the kids it's them as well so they've had to drop the dog off 24 hours before they were meant to stay at ours tomorrow night but they're now literally just going to drive two hours at half three in the morning like honestly I felt sick when she told me I was like I don't even know who to tell first anyway we will see you in Dubai <laughs> We arrived in Dubai late last night, um, it's now Friday morning, well it's actually not Friday morning, I actually think it's nearly Friday afternoon. It's half eleven and we've just got back from breakfast but we didn't go to bed till like midnight Dubai time. I'll show you out of here before we head down to the pool. This is our balcony isn't it buddy? Uh, this is the pool, this is the kids area here, like the splash park. No, not just yet darling, it's too dangerous. Then I think this is more like the kids pool and then I think there's like an adults pool around that side but you can't really see it. Um, so yeah, first day we've obviously not really fully explored at all. But here we are. This is our room. It's obviously really, really messy because we just got here last night and dumped everything. Um, so I will do like a mini room tour. Oh gosh, it's steamed up. Right, let's go inside. Come on. Let's go. No, 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 no. Stop ignoring what I've said. Right, let's go inside. We're going down to the pool now. Go on. Yes. Don't throw your glasses. You need them. Oh, help. Oh. Right, we'll go put a vest or a t-shirt on. Me and Casper have just come for a walk while Indy's sleeping in the room. And Daddy does some work, haven't we? We're walking to find some ice cream. Yeah, you've got ketchup of all over your face on lunchtime. Yeah, Daddy's doing work on the balcony because Mummy obviously forgot that we were going on holiday yesterday and not today. So Daddy was meant to work all day yesterday and he didn't. So he's got to do it now. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the first time we've stayed on West Beach in Dubai and I'm really liking it. That's just some stairs. I don't know where it goes though. There's like a massive boardwalk outside our hotel. That's our hotel there. Um, and then there's like all this path, which is really nice. And then that's the marina over there. You want to walk? You want to go see the mountains? You can walk through them if you want, but you're gonna get wet. You get wet and you don't. Just literally got back to the room now. Um, it's half five, but it feels so much earlier because obviously we've been awake for not that long i think we got up at half ten um catherine and indy keep playing with the b day and we obviously keep telling them that it's not the clean i guess it is the cleanest of things because it does clean but they're like obsessed with cleaning the b day but they are i'm just running them back while josh is still working on the balcony and i'm making myself a coffee um we've got an espresso machine and yes it's half five but I don't even know how to use this. I'm just guessing that this is what I do. 
How do I even turn it on? I don't know. How do I turn it on? Oh, there we go. It's a little espresso machine. This room is so messy as well. I cannot give you a room tour yet. Um, I mean, look at that. Can you see? Right, is the bath too hot? Let me check. Mommy's going to sit and have a nice coffee while you two are in the bath. Why are you washing your hands in the bum washer? Right. Right, let me press what she wants. She's going to have that. Is that what I do? Is it still warming up? No, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, there we go. Um, I forgot what I was saying, but yeah, the room is a really big mess because we've not had the cleaner in today because we hadn't unpacked this morning and I was like, I don't want anyone coming in because I'm just going to put stuff everywhere. But when the kids are asleep late tonight, I'm going to really tidy up and then it can be cleaned and then I can give you a little room tour. But yeah, I'm not sure really what we're doing tonight to be honest because we're still all a bit tired. Indy's just had a really good two hour sleep in, in the cot but Casper's not slept and he's very, very grumpy. He's been on and off all day. So we actually said we might just get room service just to like let him sleep and then enjoy the next seven days of our holiday because I just feel like if he keeps being overtired, it's just not going to be great. Right kids, out the bum washer place. Casper's naked. Got a really nice big bath though. And brought some toys from home as always. Nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight. Yeah, I'm off that good. Why, you stinker? Oh, baby, I'm a smelly one, isn't it? Why did you got that well? What are you going to say? Why did you got that stinky poo? Why did you got that stinky poo? Right, you got that stinky poo. Right. White. Whoa. 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 Where's the fork? Mummy, get you a fork. No, right, just be careful with that, buddy. Whoa. Oh, look, the guacamole is here. Guac. Chicken pork ball. Don't worry, darling. We've had a bit of a room clean, so I'm quickly just going to show you the room. Um, this is the bathroom. So I think we're staying in a deluxe double room job deluxe king room maybe so this is the bathroom we've got a nice big deep bathtub little kind of walk-in shower and then this is the sink area then we've got a separate toilet and bd kids are obsessed with a bd always are i really don't know why hiya darling just cover that up because you don't have any clothes on then this is the front door then we have like this wardrobe space safe Drawers and then a nice big mirror. Mama. And then we've got two king size beds. They've been made up a bit weird because um, we've had to put bolster cushions at either side for Casper and they've kind of put them back a little bit strange. But yeah, we've got the two beds. We've got like a little table full of rubbish though. It's got all the kids' stuff on it. And then we've got a cot. Kind of creepy, kind of reminds me of Call the Midwife. Uh, and then this is our balcony. So this is our view of the palm and the marina, JBR, cool. And we've just got a nice chair. We've had to push it over there though so that the kids don't climb up there because that would definitely happen. Same with the table and chairs, as close to the patio doors as possible because knowing India, she'd be up the chair on the table and over the edge which it's not even worth thinking about right well, we need to have a shower now we're going out for tea soon indy's also obsessed with climbing in the pram and we've now got two prams because a lovely girl who i've swung on instagram for ages lives in dubai and she said she's got a spare yo-yo so she'll just get it sent to our hotel 
and I thought that would be better than bringing two prams and not even really using two and then having to lump them around the airport. So I thought we'd like see what it'd be like with just one and last night was quite difficult because we had to keep softening shit. If one of them gets out, the other one jumps in and then we have to carry. So yeah, we've got two ribs and yo-yos, which is great because tonight hopefully will be a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, it's shower time now, isn't it, kids? Ma. New mama. <laughs> Beasy squeezy. Oh, where'd he gone? Oh, yeah. well, we forgot a tripod, didn't you? Yeah. Right, are we going to try and keep a cute little clip in? Do you think we could do that today? Do you need to what? <laughs> yeah, is it not in there? You're going to put it in your hair? You pretty girl. <laughs> no. <laughs> You are a boss lady, aren't you? Do you want your glasses on? <coughs> no, you're not having any cowpole, darling. You don't need any. No cowpole for Indy. Then we went to the aquarium at the mall, which we personally think is a lot better than the aquarium at the Atlantis. Look at wow, look at Casper. He just said, look at me, and it got a nice shirt on. Huh? Yeah, look at me, it got a nice shirt on, mummy. Look at that beautiful view. It's a bit hazy. In fact, it's very hazy here these days. I feel like when we first came here, it wasn't that hazy, but I feel like it is now. Anyway, we're going out for tea. Oh my gosh, look at you. You've just had a bath and you're covered in watermelon. Indy is obsessed with watermelon at the minute. So much so that um, it's kind of the only thing she's eating out here. And we went to Waitrose and bought a massive platter of... Oh, that's good. Um, but yeah, the aquarium at the mall, we personally think is better than the aquarium at the Atlantis. A lot of people, I think, I think that there's only really an aquarium at, oh my gosh, what's it doing? Yeah, I think a lot of people think that the aquarium at the, at the Atlantis Hotel is like one of the only ones. But we don't think it's much better than just being able to see the massive fish tank at the Atlantis. Um, but the one in the mall is really good. The only thing we didn't do was like the little, there is actually a boat trip ride in there. We just didn't do that because of the, of the kids. One, they were tired and two, um, we just thought that 
I just can't be bothered with the hassle. So you kind of, I can't really remember, we did it in our honeymoon. I think you like get in the boat. I think it's like a submarine, but Josh seems to think that like you can touch the water, but I really don't think you can. I think it goes under the water. So I remember having, I don't know. Ha da da, look at the state of yo. Look at you eating your watermelon. Where are you going? Where are you going? The absolute watermelon queen. Um, we are a bit confused our days though, because obviously we were meant to be here. We were meant, our first day was meant to be Saturday. From what we thought, we thought we were flying Friday. Oh dear, what was that? You're gonna need a new nappy on and everything in DB. But today is Sunday and I feel like it's only Saturday. Uh, like, we feel like it's Monday, but it's only Sunday. Um, so we've got a good four days left anyway, which is nice. But we're just gonna go to the restaurant tonight. The all-inclusive restaurant. Huh? Well, no, because we fly home on Friday. We're gonna be getting kicked up at like 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah, we've got Saturday. Yeah. We just went to the Cheesecake Factory for lunch, which was really nice, at the mall, and both the kids were asleep for basically the whole meal, which was a dream. And we had a course each and a cheesecake, so we are pretty stuffed, so we just said we'll go to the restaurant all-inclusive just for the kids to eat, and then we'll just have like, I'm literally gonna have like a bit of salad and maybe some fruit, because um, I'm stuffed. And I'm on my period as well, which is fabulous. Obviously, you, you always feel much worse, don't you? And then we'll probably go on a walk again tonight on the little walk that you can see down there. Um, that path there. It's a really nice long walk down. Uh, I think it's a kilometre. Josh said Josh ran it this morning. And yeah, it's we hate you staying like three hotels up from us, Molly May's sister. So, kind of hoping that I'll probably do it. Probably weren't though. Um, but yeah, we're having a good time, aren't we? The kids are absolutely loving life. And we are pretty much gonna go and get ready now because I need to get all this watermelon off Inda and she's already had a bath and she looks like she needs another. We are just on the Golden Mile for the first time ever. Um, I've heard people talk about it loads, but never actually been on it. And it's straight across from our hotel. So we're trying to get the kids to sleep, but I don't think it's gonna happen, to be honest. Um, there's some quite nice bars and stuff on here, coffee shops, we thought we might be able to sit and have a nice drink. But uh, um, I'm not sure it's gonna happen at all. But it's really nicely and prettily decorated for Ramadan. It's really pretty, we were just saying. <laughs> thing that we like about Dubai as well as everything else is that everything is just clean like I was saying if there was a running track in the middle of Spain with kids parked in the middle and benches it would probably be really run down really overgrown like really scruffy and it's just so clean but a lot of people live here and the, like the Golden Mile is kind of like in the middle of some residences like there's just loads of families going past and walking um, so that's probably why it's so well kept but everywhere's just so well kept and it's nice <laughs> oh door's locked look at the tractor now Quickly, before we go for breakfast. Oh God, I could just live here. I'm never, ever, 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 ever gonna get bored of this view. Another day, all the kids at the Fairmont Hotel as well get this little thingy 
um, and it says I am a Fairmont kid and they get like little monies in there that they can spend on like just some like Mr Whippy ice cream and I don't know what else they get to be fair. I did lose a thing and we've also lost some of the money because you know how the kids pull it out and throw it on the floor. Let me see if we can find the other one. Oh it's messy. Oh yeah it's messy. Whoa bees. Yeah, we need to book this restaurant for tonight, kids. Are you gonna have some? We're here now, look. <laughs> Mummy forgot the uh, bath toys to bring to the pool again. Which? Just some little buckets with water. Because she'll play. God, I am so burnt. I always burn now. I never, ever, ever used to burn. But since having kids, since having kids, I literally burn. And also, I'm too busy sorting the kids out that I just don't sort myself out. So, mum's back is burnt to a crisp because obviously I've always got my back in the sun. But at least back of me will be brown. Oh! Oh, she's just walked into the table, child. Watch your head. Honestly, we're just about to head to the mall across the road, which is near where we went last night um, on the Golden Mile. Let me just change your nappy, darling, and then we're going to go, aren't we? Casper's asleep in reception with Daddy. Yeah? Going to the pool, kids. Yeah, Another day in paradise. <laughs> just another day. Paradise. Dun, dun, I'm going dun, to will one. No, will one. Okay, darling. Where's plastic cup? What plastic cup? For the wall. Oh, they're, by, they're outside by the pool. Why? Yes. Why? Sister? No, no, no. You're okay, honey. Right. Let's shut that door. Come in, don't we? I shut the door. Come in. Mum's got her everything bag. Is that a bottle of water in there? No, it's there because she made me get it out. She put it in the bottom at pram. Oh, everything bag's on the floor. Yeah. We'll go to Little Pool, don't worry. We found some snacks, honey. We've just had breakfast. Oh, you haven't, should have saved. Just eating watermelon, haven't you? I know you do, darling. Pool day number, what day is it? Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Pool day number five. Um, in this bag, look in the bag. It's in there somewhere. Oh, right, okay, you found it. Right, okay. Right, let's get Indy creamed up. Let's get your jammies off, darling. Right, you can have them in a second. Arms up, arms up. Indy, you need to take your jams off, honey. Why? Because she can't go in the pool with the jams on. Why? Why? Because... Well, might get wet. Well, they'll get really wet and they'll stick to her body and not very nicely. Right. Need to get this on, look. Not yet.
morning um i've literally just made a coffee in the room and it is half seven i think no it's not it's quarter to eight that's good that means josh should be back from the gym in about 15 minutes come out here then and i'll open it for you darling um but yeah we've got like a little nespresso in our room Cass was outside doing stickers on the balcony i've been for a walk this morning i went for like a little sunset sun sunrise walk but picked a bad morning because um it's really cloudy let me open it for you then you woke everyone up didn't you missus shouting mama mama, mama. there you go Don't it out the pack yeah okay there you go then da. right what's wrong darling do you want me to help you what's wrong Josh just laying up his uh, future cars. Yeah. Just trying to walk now to get the kids to sleep. Not sure if it'll happen. Back in the day when you could literally just push a pram up and down and then leave them next to the sun lounger and lay on a sun lounger. That is not happening anymore. We have to fully go on a walk. We still have not sat on a sun lounger, me and Josh, for more than five minutes. Mission, get the kids to sleep again. <laughs> oh God, what time is it? It's 20 past three in the afternoon. Um, Casper is asleep and Indy is not. We um, got Indy to sleep about an hour and a half ago. In the pram, we went on another walk and that walk that we've just been on that i was filming for and um, she did sleep for like 15 minutes and then she woke up and then that was it so we've been back in the pool and then we were just like actually these kids literally need to sleep like we're going to a nice restaurant tonight and it's just gonna be horrific <laughs> if they don't sleep i mean luckily casper is asleep because he's the one i'm worried about the most um because he is so bad in restaurants when he is tired um, whereas Indy, I'm not as bothered because she will just sleep in the like in the restaurant. So if she doesn't sleep now, um, we'll just have to get her to sleep in the restaurant, and I'm just gonna have to give her milk instead of having some tea or whatever because it's just the easiest thing to do. But yeah, I feel like this is the 20th walk of this <laughs> that we've done all holiday. I will miss this little walk though. I think if we come again, we'll definitely stay on West Beach. This is our pram. Last day. So we've come to the beach. Haven't we, darling? Come to the beach. Yeah. Hmm. So we figured that Indy absolutely hates the sand. Don't you, honey? Is it on your feet? So you don't like it? Casper, on the other hand, loves being on the beach. He loves playing with his bucket and spade. But every time I try to get Indy in the sand or the sea, she just kicks off, screams, you name it. Have you still got sand on your feet? What's wrong? Oh, you want me to pick you up? Right, okay. I'm coming, don't worry. I'm gonna get you. Just having our last morning stroll down Palm West Beach before we head home. So it is currently about quarter past eight. So it's eight o'clock. What time is it? Ten past eight. Ten past eight um, on Friday morning. No, that's not Gigi, darling. <laughs> and we are going home today, so we just thought we'd come out on a little walk before Look breakfast. Look at this big girl. It's not Gigi, darling. Yeah, no. it's not him, no. Gigi back at hotel, missus. Um, gorgeous morning. Josh already been up and running this morning. I said this morning about 10 times already. Yeah, she is, buddy. Yeah, Josh already been up for a walk. Uh, a run, sorry. I was going to do my 6 a walk again, but Josh and I have been running, so we've come out on a walk for eight. And um, we're just going to like walk down here and back, and then we're going to walk straight to breakfast. 
go back to the room and finish packing and then basically head to reception and get an Uber to the airport. Um, me and Josh went on our little date night last night. We went to somewhere called February 30. It's like one of the beach beach club bars. Um, and it was really nice, wasn't it, hun? It was very nice. Yeah, was what very did nice. we have? We had, <laughs> we had a bread basket to start with like three different dips which were gorgeous and some edamame beans. You're not getting out darling, I'll strap you in if you try and get out. And then Josh had like a grilled chicken thing. <laughs> and I had black cod and then we just had like loads of sides, like truffle fries but they were so rich, wow. And then I had two rosé... <laughs> sangrias which were gorgeous but yeah it was just on one of these beach bars here that were right on the beach and Thursday night actually in Dubai is like their Friday night so their weekend is Friday Saturday so today is technically the first day of the weekend so it was quite busy last night because obviously it was like being Friday night at home but it was really nice and we were saying we kind of missed a trick not bringing the kids to some of these beach bars on an evening because it was cool because we were right by the sea and you can sit on the sand, so the kids could have actually played in the sand. And there was a kids menu as well. And there was a kids menu. We kind of thought there were just more adult places, but there was a lot of kids there. So we just said next time we come, we're definitely eating in some of these beach bars on an evening, just because I think the kids will be a lot more satisfied. And super close to your hotel as well. And it's really close to the hotel, because I think we'll definitely stay on here again, because it's just so convenient. So yeah. Um, I'm going to do a Dubai Q&A on Instagram when we get home but definitely would stay on Palm West Beach again because it's just like this walkway that we're walking on is just so convenient and there's just so much stuff to do. We came here for a coffee on our first day, Jones Grocer, that's really lovely as well, like breakfast, coffees um, and then apparently this, I think this is the Hilton here. That's really nice for families too. So we just said, when we decide to come again, we'll have a look at the Fairmont again and the Hilton and see what we like because the both apparently cater for families really well. But yeah, last day, kids. Not even last day. Last morning. Last morning, heading home. By the end of the day, we're back home. Maybe it's cause we are. Got time and we're wasted. Got no plans for the night. show you our last morning view it's a beautiful black yacht there I don't know if you can see it's not very clear there we go look look at that beautiful black yacht and there we go that is the Dubai vlog done we are ready to go home now I've got this pink t-shirt on from Zara my Adenola yoga pants and my Adenola jumper on the back. The kids are ready to go. <laughs> and, oh, I'm upside down. And I'm gonna finalize this vlog here. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching it, guys. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna be. It might be split into two halves, it might not be. But yeah, we just love to buy so much. Um, if you've got any questions, please feel free to pop them in the description box below and I will answer them or head to my Instagram which is Sophie Lou Taylor and I've got a Dubai highlight and I'm going to be doing a Dubai Q&A which will probably create another Dubai highlight. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching guys. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. We are going to be trying to travel as much as we can as a family this year. We've got a caravan holiday in two months time. Um, we're going to Carden Park for like a little family weekend which will be nice. And we're going to try and get abroad again towards the packing of the year as well. Um, but yeah, see you guys soon.